Hey there, Rebus Forever here. Patreon told me recently that it was thank your Patreons day or something, so uh, thanks to my Patreons, all two of you. That aside, let's get busy praising the Omnisar. Another Games Workshop game from me, and uh, this time it's in binary. <laughs> Okay, maybe that won't work. Let's start again. If you've ever wondered what would happen if you crossed a cybergoth and a steampunk and then turned the result into a game, if you love high-tech, almost magical gadgets and doodars made by one brand, while also thinking high-tech, almost magical doodars by another brand are heresy and should be purged from the galaxy, then this my confused, scene-hopping, luddite and also futurist brand slave friend is the game for you. So many Games Workshop computer games feel like someone got a game style and just painted it with Games Workshop licenses. Not always badly, but you know. Total Warhammer, Total War 2, Left for Vermintide, Sid Meier's Gladius Relics of War. While this effort could be called XCOM Partial Recall, if we were being snippy, it by and large feels more designed around the faction and the universe than making the universe fit a saleable pre-existing format. For this, the Omnisire would be very proud. The game tells what I believe is an original story, with your perspective being that of a young Magus, commanding from a Mechanicum battleship stationed above the battle zone, with the interface being as immersive as the top-class writing that gives depth and character to your various superiors. My favour of our overseeing Magi being the religious nut who mostly likes to solve problems by lighting incense all over the place like a teenager trying to hide the smell of pot from their parents. The gameplay mix is a planning phase where you are able to manage your expanding and varied crew, their skills and equipment, a place to select your next mission based on the difficulty and the rewards you wish most to collect, with the missions presenting you with an overview of the area through which you must choose your path to the mission's objectives. On the way you will be given an opportunity to brush up on your Necron, avoid or engage random Necron encounters, and be presented with old school style multiple choice decisions that require a mixture of good decision making and blind luck. The game has you descending into the depths of an awakening Necron tomb, with your mix of cybernetically enhanced warriors racing against the clock before the Necrons fully awake. You can choose to explore every room in every mission but risk allowing more time for the Necrons to provide reinforcements, or else rush to the last mission, taking the most direct route, but risk facing your opponents in an under-equipped state. This is a nice system, but those prone to worry might find their direct routes result in easier battles, and an underwhelming feeling when blasting the Necrons becomes an inconvenience rather than a challenge. I managed to complete the last mission with but three tech priests, which I'm fairly certain represents me having accidentally gamed the game, rather than some sort of tactic excellence on my part. I spent 28 hours with this game as it was one of the easiest games to play with my broken mouse. Despite this I am still replaying the game to see if taking a more scenic route through the missions will in fact increase the difficulty of the battles. There are too few games that focus as well as this game does on the atmosphere and tone of the 40k universe, with the banter between the various Majos, Magi, I'm not sure, who provide you with the missions providing in 20 seconds worth of binary more depth than an hour of other games, usually featuring space marines saying little more than brother this or brother that, or at best a bit of for the emperor. Mechanicus is not only a great game that blends the feel of XCOM-like combat with an immersive and true to the universe depiction of an often overlooked faction, provided by on-point writing, with replayability provided by countless options for, for item and XP customization, that also looks great, and for 23 quid you won't even need to start trading in Heretech to grab a copy. In short, Rebus likes this a lot. Thanks for watching. If you like my stuff, uh, do something about it. There's a Steam group, there's a um, Discord, and there's a Patreon. That said, toodle pip.